thrilled to have um, Chef Aitor Zabala with us tonight, who, in my opinion, is at the forefront of making um, the restaurant world part of the art world in terms of the work that he's doing at Somni. And he's been working in the restaurant world for 25 years. We'll be talking a little bit more about it. So I would love to just jump in. You've, sh you've cooked with and trained with some of the most experimental avant-garde chefs mm -hmm. in the world. I was lucky to that. Well, first, thank you for inviting me. So, I'm sorry for my accent. <laughs> Nothing I can do with that. Um, so yeah, so I have a 25 years experience in a, in, a, in a restaurant world. My mom is a chef, so I I grow in a chef in a restaurant environment. Even my mom don't want me in the kitchen. Always throw me out. Um, but yeah, after that, I was working in a multi restaurants around of Spain. You know, my my background. Well, my heritage is from the Basque country, so north of Spain, where the culture of food is really deep. So I make my training when I was a young uh, chef, I make it there, with the best uh, chef in the world at that moment, you know. Um, with yeah, who was that? Arzak, uh, Arzac, you know, Pedro Subijana, three Michelin star restaurants, three or four. And after that, I back to Barcelona, and I working for Ferran Adria, was the, the, the creator of this uh, work I don't like to say is molecular gastronomy because I don't know what is molecular gastronomy, but uh, LA Times say it's a molecular gastronomy and it's funny. Is it not called that in Spain? No, I think not. I think it's a, a molecular gastronomy is a word invented for uh, New York uh, uh, magazine and uh, French uh, science. So Hervétis created the Hervétis is in a science working with many chefs and friends, and they created the was a molecular gastronomy. You know, they, they go deep and make many books about it. And Ferran was the the, the first one. No, was the was the, the the number one at that time. No, so I was a part of the develop team. I created so every year we close the restaurant six months and we make it all the develop for the next year. So every year we create 150 different plates or different snacks. So, and always we create new things. It was never possible to repeat it what we do last year. So always we was try to find the things that was not make it from before, playing with textures, with uh, temperatures, with uh, silverware, tableware, how to present the food, how to make it playful, how to provoke people. So I was working there for five years. And after that, uh, I moved here. Jose Andres is coming to, to El Bulli with Anthony Bordwine, and uh, he offered me to a job uh, for, for, a, for coming in uh, 2007, because in the summer, in the winter, we closed El Bulli, we say it, and they go to the lab. But Ferran told me if I want to go outside, so I say, yeah, I want to go to America, I've never been there. I never speak English, so <laughs> you can see it. Uh, and uh, I moved to the U.S. in 2007 with Jose. Four months later, I go back to Spain, say I never go back to America. I don't like that. This is not for me. You know, just back to the bougie, I say the bougie, la, 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 la. And uh, in 2010, I just moved back because Jose convinced me in Washington. I stayed a couple of years in Washington. But the weather doesn't know. I don't like the weather. And uh, I, I come here, and uh, I, I would say, LA, choose me. I don't choose LA. So I come here for an event with uh, Wolf and Park. And, uh, it just was in November or something like this. And then the first thing we arrived, we go to the farmer's market in Santa Maria. I said, what is this? You know, i coming from D.C. You don't have any potatoes, you know? I said, so I didn't have was tomatoes in November. So it was fruit, so beautiful. So I feel in love with the, 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 the city and with all the things that they have. And just work here until we opened Somni a couple of years ago. I, I jumping a lot, so but yeah. So we open, we working in Sam in Bazaar, and uh, restaurants in Vegas. I was in charge of the, all the restaurants in East Coast, uh, West Coast, sorry. And I decided I want to have my small thing because it's what I like to do. For me, it's a shocking working. I make it 500 people a day. Uh, I want to make it only 10, and uh, I convince people, and they. Uh, the owners of the hotel and Jose, and they give me this space to make it Somni and. Uh, what we are. So did it feel, I imagine LA felt a little bit more like Spain? Well, I think it's a Mediterranean uh, uh, weather, no? so they keep it really, really similar. I feel many times like I'm in, in Barcelona, no? where the weather, the ocean, the mountain, the products, so is that really, so everything will make me more feel at home, uh, even I am a 
14 hours, 10 hours from there, you know. But I, I was feel for me for more is more easy, you know. Feeling for me is so important the roots, you know, the, the what I feel me in the place need to feel comfortable. If not, uh, will not be there, no. The feelings is so important, no. Mm. This is why we choose. So how did training in those restaurants, which are so on the artistic avant-garde side of things, how did that? It, it feels like it would be unfamiliar as a chef how to think in those artistic ways. Was that your automatic kind of personality? No, I, I think it was the beginning. So for me, uh, working in El Bulli was, uh, was a goal, it was a rival to there. So for me, when I have 19 years old, uh, I, was, I finished the army, I was a cook in the army mm. until uh, 17 to 19. 19, I, I finished uh, this and I started uh, working. For me, my friends, they have uh, always these soccer players in the wall, you know, and me, I have a chef, you know. And um, so I have, um, I have a duper, two persons, it's for Albert Adria, and uh, he's a brother of Ferran Adria, and Aurel Castro, because the two another, another, the right hand of Ferran. They both they are the creative directors of the lab. And me, when I say, well, creative director, what is that? So, you know, I feel, oh, these people is what they make in the plates. So what is make a creativity? So. When I feel that, my life changed everything. You know, I want to do that. I, and, 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 and I will feel, you know, if I was a cook, uh, regular, I don't say regular cook, but I will cook in every day with no, put it in a thaw, you know, have a use in creativity, uh, develop all these things, I will not be a cook, you know? And it's what made me feel pushing and be there, you know? So El Bulli gave me the, the way what I don't see it. You know, I love to cook, but uh, they see me what I want to be. You know? Did you, I mean, I imagine it was very much their vision, mm -hmm. but did you get to kind of... No, the, the, the question about that is the, the, uh, was something new. Chef was never creative, so it was always a person getting prepping food, making that, but in that vision and that looking was something new. Anyone see that in the world, no? I never see it playing with these textures, with the gelatins, warm gelatins, no foams, earth. It was a totally different change of the game, no? And uh, uh, when I was in the, in the lab in El Bulli, I was part of develop to that. So I put dishes in the menu that was mine, uh, and I'm so proud of that because not too many people in 25 years El Bulli was there they have a small part to put in the dish, you know. So if you know a chef, chefs are pretty big ego. <laughs> so, and I don't let you to put a dish if it's not what they want to be, you know. And obviously, they play his prestige, you know, their prestige. You know? and, and that moment was, for me, was a big excitement, no? Sorry. So how did all of that translate into what you started doing here before Somni? So, well, um, what were what were the concepts for the restaurant? Well, always that we was before a creative director of the company, and still a creative director of the Jose Andres restaurant. So we created the menus, we developed new restaurants, new operations. What we the line of cooking need to be, you know, what we want to express, what we are in the concepts. But uh, this is what we did it before. No, we train people, we change the menus, we develop the new th new ideas for or casual restaurant or volume restaurant or, or fine dining avant garde cuisine. No? So we are doing many things. This was me was a big change. You know, so I come in for. 12 or 15 years, make it uh, restaurants really, really tiny with a lot of detail, and we come here and we then make it the same thing but for 500 people. And so it was so shocking for me, you know, it's stressful you know, because you sometimes you can you need to pass something, you know, you say this is important, or it's really important, or it's not really important. So it was for me it was a big shock, it was a big change. So but always I have I we have the, the possibilities to create it because always I have a small restaurant before it was Sam or we have Fee and Vegas so or we have mini bar. So always I have I find my, my oasis there is what I like to do and always you know, and always I was there, you know? So, but I need to make it another jobs, you know, and then that. So let's talk, start talk about Somni and mm -hmm. what, were, what were the key ideas that you had going in? It's such a unique space and also for, um, you know, everybody to understand what the space is like. Well, the, the, Somni, Somni, Somni means, is in a Catalan word, it means dream. So it's in a dream, no? So if always I take the dream to be in America, you create your own dream, no? I am a dreamer. 
So, and then we want to put it something that represents where we're coming from, no? And Somni is in a place that we try to create them, a memories from our memories, no? So it means uh, we are my memory when you eat it the first time something, when you're a child and you remember this is the best moment of forever, you want to play with that feeling to make it some new, you know? So it's a, you take it, well, man, you eat it a pizza, for example, it's simple, but no, but the first time you remember eating a pizza, maybe possible is the best time ever, no? Because when you, if you like it, if it's a bad pizza, <laughs> probably not, but if it's good and it's the first time, you always remember forever that first moment, no? It's like a free, you can take it, it's the first kiss, well, sometimes it's bad, the first kiss. But, uh, you know, the first time you take it, uh, you know, you have to uh, go out or you have, uh, I don't know, you finish or you go to school or you start a job or you have a first house or you have this new car. But this is, take it in a food, no? And after playing with that and uh, create a new memory, no? So when you play, we say we have a pizza and what we try to do is we use the pizza, the idea of the pizza, but we change the look is the same, but the execution, the texture, everything is a little different, no? Well, a lot of different. <laughs> so, it's a small space. Mm -hmm. First, I, I think we should describe this space mm -hmm. and yeah, well, there's you images. Can, you, can, you can see in the images. Yeah. So, the, the, the space is a thousand square feet. So, uh, we have a table. The, well, let's look coming. When we have another restaurant we call Sam. Uh, it was a really small restaurant too. It's the same space. But the ceiling was so low. The, the materials, they make it with uh, dark walnut wood. You can see it here. It's a, a, a clear one, white. We, to, we take it the ceiling up. So we make it totally change the what we are before. Before we are dark. We are secret. We are a private. We are a, no, when we decide to make it another, the first thing we say, let's put it, the ceilings up. You know, people don't, we don't have a windows. We want to people have a, have a feel comfortable. Not only them, us, for, for us. You know, we, I worked in there six years. So for me, it was a, a claustrophobic. claustrophobic. Mm -hmm. So we are trying to open, let's to put it clear colors, you know. Let's to put wood can make you warm, not make you feel pressure, you know. We don't use a plastic, you use it some, some uh, stone, you know. Something earthy, really, that, that you feel that feeling, no? It was important for us, the feeling of the natural, earthy, you know, light, you know, even you are in the back of another restaurant, because in the end, we are in the back of another restaurant, so we are in, we, we can go, we are in a hole, you know, you know? so. <laughs> it's very theatrical. It's, it yeah, seems like you're well, kind of it, in the stage. I, I don't like that. So people always, uh, a lot of times, make it, and um, the first thing that they published from Somni was the cooks, could they learn for the actors. So I know. So was only we make it one. We 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 hire an actor to teach us. To teach us, not for me, but the, for cooks. They never present things because we need to understand. Uh, cooks, we are make it. We training to be in the back, with a hole. You put the foot in the pass, and they left. And for me, it was important to break that barrier. I don't want a boundaries to that. I want to open that. I want to not have a wall. I want to have people can see what happened. You know, why we need a cover or hiring some things. I want the people, they are excited to know. And I think the cooks, they are excited to explain. So for us, it was important to hire that person to can explain it. How they need to be moving, how they need to, for us it was, but we are not trying to be theatrical. So, you know, we try to make it a flow, easy flow. It was not me, and more important, and give a confidence to cook to a speech from to people. So you do actually interact with customers, and it's not like a. Well, it's, it's, a, it's, a it's a mandatory that. It's a, it's a, I think is an is is what they make it so special too. You know, so the people we try to present a plate and we we explain it exactly what is the execution of the plate and if it's something different that people use a paper. Uh, you know, you use these papers, can we cut it leaf? We show the paper, you know? We cut it this piece, can we bring from Spain and we, uh, we, we, warm, uh, we make it in a farm in San Diego and we try many times if they grow well in San Diego, the same could they grow in the Basque country. Mm -hmm. So because there's the best piece can we have in the Basque country. So we show them and we are proud to that. So we need to show them. No, it's not only they taste good, they look good, if not, we go more thing. No, so it was always we say it's not only we uh, 
feed your belly, it will feed your thoughts. You know? And this is we want uh, is what's inside the experience of some. You know, you can have a little bit more. You know, mm -hmm. that's why we try it. Maybe people don't don't have it, but we are trying to 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 do that. You know, given a something else and a th thumbful thumbful. Uh, idea about what is the restaurant. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and it seems like, um, you know, craft has become more and more of a major interest mm -hmm. to our whole culture. Um, and you put that really at the forefront of the restaurant. Mm -hmm. um, and I wonder how, you know, how that works, because it sounds like you're, you're actually performing the craft in, in the restaurant space. So mm -hmm. how do customers, you know, are they just captivated watching you make all of this? Yeah, they, captiv they captivated everything. I think they are really interesting to see what we're doing and we've not have, you know, they are front to the face, they face it to that. You know, you know are in a table, you face, you partner or your friend or any another person you're coming with them. You're faced to the restaurant, so you are exposed to sear, you know? And, and uh, if you don't like it, you maybe you don't come to somebody at that point, you know? But uh, but this is what the, what we're doing, no? And, and, uh, and we like that. And uh, for now, we have a good, good, good guest coming back, no? So, but the, the present, I think the, the design, uh, or the handcraft, we use it. We use it all the things that are thought there, no? So we, we thought the, the glass, we thought about the plates, we thought even the, the, the wood can put it, we thought about the, why we put it, the silverware, where we put it, the, the movie member of the cooks. Everything is designed to have a sustainable and more, uh, uh, what is called, uh, 100% profitable, no? 100% is you know, make it right, no? So, and, uh, like I told you before, no? You can see in the ceiling between the wood, you can see it there, in the corp, they have a piece of metal, you know, gold metal, but this one, we use it in the, in the boards can we service the food. We put it there. So people maybe don't see it, but it's a detail, you know? That means that detail, when you make it the food, you will have the same detail. You put it there, there, it's a detail. If you put it there, if you make it, well, it doesn't matter that, probably when you make it a plate, it doesn't matter that, you know? So if you take care of that, you will take care of food. If you, you know, it's important all these details uh, and design and everything like that, because it's not only, people can think, oh, this is not cooking. This is another thing. Yeah, but this is then how you expose, how you do every day the things, you know? So you do right this thing, the food, when you do it, you do right too, you know? It makes sense? Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, well, yeah, I mean, it seems like you're making this very multi-sensory experience mm -hmm. of craft that's the physical mm -hmm. space, the tactile, and mm -hmm. then the edible. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, let's see, in terms of materials, how, how did you go about choosing that specifically and how deep into the design well, did I was, you get? I, 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 I make it from scratch. I work with the architect, with the designer, with everything. They have an idea, I don't like the idea, I wanna think, you know. So uh, I wasn't in the top of everything, no? And I think it's what they make it. But we choose materials that you can feel it, no? It's important for that, no? You have a stone, you have a wood, and even the linen, the costers, the glass, uh, everything is designed, you know? And if it's not designed, it's, we find it, you know? It's uh, something that we want it, no? But many of the things that we make it is designed, you know? And it's, it's, it's what the, because we want to have these feelings, you know? And you have the water, uh, water glass, you want to feel it something, no? We have a bowl, so when you have, an, you have a dessert, it's cold, and you present that, and you can put the hands, and you feel the cold. When we buy the knife, for the meat knife, we warm it in the, in the warm plate because you want to feel warm. It's when you start the feeling of the dishes. So you want to have a, a plate is hot, you start for the first thing. What is the first thing? You take the knife and you take the fork. If this is cold, your feeling is, will be, the plate is probably a, le, a little bit less hot than what is if you serve it warm. You know, it's like this feeling, you have a warm, and you cut the meat, and it's warm, all is in a feeling, you know? And I think it's, you, you control these details, you can go a little bit farther. And you can control in this one, and you control in this one, and you control in this one. You can make it something special, you know? You say, no, it's fine, you can make it. Yeah, it's okay. 
But if you want to make it something special, unique, you need to control that point, you know? And I think it's what they give you the differences. How does your process go as far as designing your exquisite plates? Well, the, the, <laughs> well, they'll finish here, you know. We have a, a, yes, can, well, <laughs> and I want to acknowledge one of the ceramic makers uh, for the restaurant is here, Delphine Lippins from yeah, Humble uh, Ceramics. Uh -huh. um, so in terms of the design of the food to go with the dishware that you're using, what's, what comes first, chicken or the egg? And no. <laughs> no, it's coming from it. <laughs> I think you, sometimes you, you want to make it a dish, so a plate, you make it, and after you make it the dish, after you make it, first you make it the dish, and after you need the plate, and after you have a, I don't know, you have ingredient, and you make it the plate, and after you make it the dish, so it's, the combination is really, really, you know, and sometimes you make it a dish, so a plate, sorry, and uh, you send it the, the, the ceramic or the wood or whatever he's making or glass, and uh, when they coming back, you have an idea, this plate will be for that. But when you, they come, that all works. And you put it down, and after you can have six months, oh, this, and you are prepping another, oh, this is work with that. So I think it is not a 100% one way to make a dishes or one make a plates. Uh, I think it's, you need to keep um, uh, flexible, and you need to keep your eyes open to choose this, you know? And sometimes you're wrong. You know, I would have told you before, we have a hundred times, hundred, hundred ideas, and normally 99, they're bad, you know, and your mind is really well, you know, so you can see so clear, as I, I told you all the time, I go, I have, wow, this is will work, it's amazing. And I start to make it, and it's, we call it a churro, no? It's a really bad, you know, it's a churro, you know, but, but this is, I think we try to be open and, you know, and remember, and, you know, and this is be, in a move, you know, moving all the time, you know, no physically, no with the mind, and uh, working with uh, with uh, with artists or craftsmen, so whatever. So um, and that's are you sketching the ideas though, or just <laughs> writing them out? As yeah, yeah, yeah. Sketching, I'm really bad. So you know, I told you before. I if I was cho something, I want to choose uh, one uh, one skill. I will be a good painter. Yeah, I'm really bad, really, really bad. Sometimes I send it something because I have a, you know, I send it a, play, a scratch. I, say, I want this plate, we can make it this. And they go, what is that? You know, so, uh, so uh, but, but no, I think after you have an, 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 uh, to work with people, they understand you better. And they come to your restaurant and they eat in your restaurant a couple, three times, they understand better. We really understand that this isn't a, this isn't a interaction as an exchange with another person that they do something like you do but with a with a different materials you know and you need to make it work together you know uh, cooking is not you, you would say it's always a teamwork not only for the, the work for the cooks and chefs is you know the people that you work with uh, with uh, with uh, obviously with the farmers with uh, uh, providers with uh, you know artists with the ceramics with the glass with the wineries with the many people you know that can understand you or you understand and you need to make it work and make it something special no so and back to the idea of memories um do you you know when do you do you ever tell those stories of like what is inspiring yeah well what what normally do is uh, every couple months I sit with my cooks and we go to into the menu and explain exactly what is coming this idea. No? So it's in a memory of my childhood or my mom do it or a trip in Thailand. Whatever is coming, the, the, the idea of the dish um, and they explain it to the guests. Okay. So everyone, they need to know what they come in the dish because they need, they need a defense to the plate. You know? As I always I say, you, it's what we like to have a cooks present the dishes and be serve, we don't have a servers. The cooks, they cook, serve. They serve it because is not anybody better explain it to you is who cook that. No? Mm -hmm. So and they feel proud to that. No, and I think the passion is so important for me. It's a really passion in that point in, in, in that thing. And I think it's easy to uh, convince people, make it feel it. You know, when you have a passion, person explain it to you. You know, and tell you what is the history, background. You know, and that, that elaboration. Mm -hmm. Amazing. 
Um, let's see, as far as ceramics and um, humble ceramics and otherwise in terms of other objects in, in the restaurant, what, what are you using that's from local LA well, artists? Well, we created the restaurant. Uh, we we, we designed to have a um, 50-50. You know? I call it all the time. It's a 50% LA thing, 50% for Spain. No? For me, it was important to have anchor in my heritage, you know, in Spain, because it's who I am. And I want to have 50% of my new anchor in LA, no? So we choose artists that are working in Spain before, in El Bulli, you know, the glass workers, or the ceramic people, or even the wood people, you know, even, even the customs is really problematic, bring something from Spain, uh, especially if it's good. But, um, but uh, and after we start to connecting with the uh, with the people locals from here, no, with Delphine, with Rob, with Match Stoner, with uh, Wood Pallet, Darhar, it's many people. They they make it something, and you connect it with them, and uh, we decide to use them. No, so we may, we have a materials that are from uh, the the restaurant is make it uh, in Spain, the, the, you can see the marmol is, uh, the, is in the wall, is made from Spain. You can see the, the artists, they hang all these uh, animals. It's an artist from Spain called Ocuda San Miguel, really famous from there. So, but after the wood, it's made in, in, uh, it's from LA. The milk workers, they make it here. So they cut it here. The, the metal, is make, the, the dome is made in LA. So we decided to have a 50-50. And, and it's what they make it for me special and more a touch, you know, at the restaurant. Mm -hmm. So, how so? How would you describe the the LA feeling? The in terms of design, like what's different about LA in, within your design versus versus Spain? Oh, I think that LA is a, it's, 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 they have, it's wild in many points because because they have a lot of the multicultural, you know. Spain, we have a multicultural. As a Spain, we have a, many years, and we have a, a Jews, we have um, Arabs, we have an, uh, Romains, we have uh, busy gods. We have many people too, and in a long time. But here is many people in short time, so it's everywhere. It's so wild, you know. Why, 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 no? <laughs> and uh, and this is why they make it so interesting, no? You can have, you can do anything, you know, and uh, uh, with very touch from Asia, from you know, from Europe, from South America, from everything like that. And represent California, California, Los Angeles, no, especially. Mm -hmm. So it's what they make it uh, for me so interesting. No? People, so I was never thinking make an example. No, no it's not design, it's in food. No, I never think that I would make it Mexican food. No, but in my play, in our restaurant, we have a couple of things that are Mexican. No, so it's for me so interesting how these things are going deep in you, you know, and they, you take it like yours. No, and yeah. I think that the design is the same. No, uh, you know, I have a. I was never working with the ceramics like we're working with Dolphin or with Rob, you know, that, that body, that, I was never, I was always thin plates, you know, like a Limoges uh, Paris, in, uh, French style or Spanish, you know, really. Uh, you mean like at El Bulli and... Yeah, yeah, yeah no, she, she, more the Bulli, we make, I think it was the first restaurant they was making table work is totally different than what they They changed the, one of the big things was how to eat the food, how to present the food. It was a big thing, no? We use the glasses, we use the tweezers, we use spoons with holes, you know, uh, a spoon with a, with a fork, and they take the herb, you can smell it in the same time. So we make it, you can see, I have a book and they, with all the scratch and all the table work and silver work, they created all these 25 years. So for me, it was something exciting to me, no? Uh, and I, I learned to that, no? But when I move here, I never work with a stone, with you know, with this natural thing, you know, that these are really earthy. Um, it's m maybe less. I will. I will. Not sounds bad, but it's less no elegant, but it's more rough. But in the same time, it's wild and it's beautiful and it's earthy. So it's uh, for me, it was a really nice, no. And I, I take it like mine because I think it's what they give me a touch here, no, because it's really normal in, in all these ceramics that they do in here in LA. Or what I see. It. Okay, great. So, how does that? If it has that like heaviness, robust wildness, then does that inspire what you're gonna do with the food that goes in it? Or no, I, I think I think the good thing to be rough product, you know, plates that they are that when you put something delicate, yeah, 
is a really nice contrast, contrast you know? Okay. Um, and the feelings are really interesting because when you touch it, it's really, you know, and I, I like that too, you know? I'm Basque in the point, you know, Basque people, they are really rough and rough, you know, they're the stone people. We, we play in a, a play with a stone ball with a hitting to the wall. So I can tell you what hard is uh, Basque people, you know, but, but I like that. No, I feeling that, that we have a movie in, Spain, in the Basque country called The Man and the Stone, you know, because they have a really, I think they are really, I feel really, they have a lot, a lot of the, the similitudes, you know. They're hard, you know, they have a, you know, I mean, they, I don't know, I, I feel really, really nice, you know, and uh, really similitudes with that. Okay, so it crosses over between the two places, but... Yeah, I think, I think it's, a, I think it's that, you no? Know? And I think the earth, I, I like a lot the earthy thing, you no? Know? I like the feeling of the earth. I don't like something is a porcelain, it really, I like it, you no? Know? But this, for some things, maybe I can do that. But I prefer to be more wild at that point, you no? Know? Give more... Um, more close to the earth, uh, more and more, more that. Okay. So in starting the restaurant, um, Jose Andres talked about hands. Mm -hmm. um, does that still play in? And do, so you, it sounds like there are utensils used. Mm -hmm. um, how much do you want people to have a really tactile? If it was for me, I would put all the menu by hands. You'd if I can, if if I was for me, if not for the guests, I would put all about, about eat it by hands, okay. because I think it's the best feeling way, the temperature, everything like that. Mm. But there's some plates that you can do that. So mm. we play a lot, the snacks, the small things. You know, I like to, you know, this this action about choosing things you know, on the table, you know, and have different options. I like that, no? they, you know? They remember me when you are in the, in the bar in, Barcelona, in Spain and you put a couple of tapas, you know, and you pick it from here, from there, from there, and you share it with your friends, and you drink it. I like that, and I like this feeling to that. But some dishes, you can do that with my hands. But they play a really, is when we have the speech, we introduction to the, we have a speech when the guests, uh, the sitting, Say, well, we have a 25 courses tonight, blah, blah, blah. And feel free to ask for any questions. And don't be hesitated if you need to use it, your hands for it. So we always tell them that we are a friend hand, uh, <laughs> friend hand restaurant, you know, about eating, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, I think the, the feeling of your fingers is, you will never feel nothing like, like that. No, the fingers is a lot, I think it's the best tools, you know, you can have it about feeling, about touching, about, Everything, no, it's, 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 I think it's wonderful. The problem is that I have, I, and sometimes we provoke to that. No, I have a dish, it's a shrimp, okay, we serve it all in the shrimp, and you need to eat the shrimp with the shell and everything, with the hands. So you need to take the heads, we recommend it, eat, eat, drink the juices and peel the shrimp. And we did it because we want to eat the best shrimp, but we want to provoke people they don't eat by hand. I, and it's another job. I like to provoke at that point to say, oh, you need hands? You eat by hands. And anyone, I have people that's really scared. And maybe the partner, they need to open the stream and give, you know, but I don't care. <laughs> you know, I think, it, I think it, this is an, another job to be, you know, you need to provoke people something, you know. And, uh, and if they try one time, you can have options to try more times in the future, you know. And, uh, or if you don't try more, but you try once. And it's important to try once. You know, I always I say, if you want to, people say, friends come to me, oh, this restaurant is so bad. So, well, you, you eat there? No, but it's so bad. So, uh, so you, you can, you know, you need to try once. You know, and uh, why you need to try once? And after you say whatever you give you, you thought, but if you don't try once, you, and people, they are so now, so scared about using hands. But um, we live uh, maybe, when I was uh, three million years, you know, um, uh, so we did with forks and knife maybe only a thousand years, or, or, two, you know, so, or two thousand years. So uh, the evolution is going so fast right now, you know. So, and I think it's, uh, people just scared to that, and I like to people uh, provoke them. I think it's great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not all the night, but the ones, you know, provoke them. So, and, and I say it's funny when you see people that, no, I don't want to eat that. So. Oh no, you can pelt us. Okay, you, you lost because you can be more open. You can be, you know, yeah. even after you don't like it, but you, are, you have another experience. Huh? So these are so artfully constructed, envisioned. What do you, what's your inspiration in terms of art itself? What, who, what do you look at? What? 
I always I have the same question when people say, what do you, what, what you do for your created dishes? So created is complicated. No? For, I think it's, you need a consistency job. You know, people say, oh, you create dishes, it's so artistic or whatever. It's, oh, you're so artistic, it's so funny. And so, no, it's created is be every day, to their eight hours, try and fail, 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 try and fail. And when you have all the knowledge, you can, you know where you can go, and there can be work, and there can be no work. Um, but they never have a, a one system, you know, clear system. So, oh, I have this, I have this, and I make it a dish. No, the product, the technique, the elaboration, the, 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 the how to eat, the silverware, the tableware, if it's cold and it's hot, and it's a dessert, is that, so you want to have a crunchy, you don't have a crunchy. So they have many connotations. So we can be talking about these hours and hours and hours, because, but never is the same system. And it's great. I think it's great it's a, because it's what they give you. A, you need to know more. You, know, you need to know more about uh, tableware. You need to know more about materials that they use at the tableware or silverware. And you need to have more connections with the farmers. You need to have a connection with the fishermen. You need to have a connections with everyone that see the product and you touch it. It's when you can be creative. No? You can be making dishes. No? If, you, if you don't know, I'm sure you, you can make it. You've created this very meaningful experience. Well, the, you know, we, we're trying to be, uh, when I want to say we want to be creative, but uh, we, uh, all that I am, I think I, I, I need to balance how is the experience, how it's created, and how it's good. Mm -hmm. They need to be great. Mm -hmm. and great does not mean it's great looking, mm -hmm. or it's aesthetic, it's amazing. It's, they taste good. Or what I think is tastes good, and always elaborated good, you know. So I think you need to find, for me, it's important to find a balance, you know, because. Uh, I respect too many of the guests that come into the restaurant and they spend a lot of money for coming and they're waiting a month to come into, or two months, you know. We, we have a guest list so long, you know. And when they're coming, they have an, uh, obviously, they have expectations. So how, you, you want to be provoked, but maybe you can provoke in only once. You don't want to provoke in 20 or in 30 because you want to have a balance. You know? I try to make it live in this floor that you can be created, you can be um, uh, probotic, they, they can taste good, and they can live a good experience. They can you get feeling, but all together, you know, it's not only wins one or another. So I think everything needs to be is is a choose of many questions. Is what we uh, we try to do in some, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. um, I have one question that I think we should open to the audience. Um, wh how do you think Somni exists? Could Somni exist? Outside of LA, um, and in this day and age, is it right now? now a product of now? No, because I am here. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, so literally, it's not, probably is not to be. Probably, so Somni is an, uh, is a fi is a finally thing. Well, no, it's not finally thing. It's a thing they coming from before. And with all your memories before, I we have Somni because. I work, I always, I born it. <laughs> I cooking with my mom. I started cooking and I learn in cooking and I go to restaurants, I learn in the restaurants and I find my, my passion and everything like that. And I come to America and I learn the things that they work and they don't work. And in the end, it is the final product. You know, somebody, is my final, final thing? No, this is another step. Always we're trying to look better and better and better. But I think Somni is will not be exist outside the the, the the LA because because it's what they make me here eight years. You know, this is a eight years product. You know, take eight years to understand California, LA or California, but LA understand the products and the, the ceramics. I don't come here and say, oh, I open a restaurant. You know, they take me eight years, many days in another restaurant have a zero gas, or I have one gas, and I take it out all the tables, and I put only one table for this gas. Uh, and another day, they come in another gas, and I sit them in the past, and I you know eat it in the restaurant, because I try to be, you know, excited into that. And these things, arrival to, arrival to Somni. Because uh, I, I think Somni will not be in LA, because it's then a final thing to all these things happen from before, no? Questions from the audience? Yes, yes. Thank you for doing this, um, especially because I know how scarce time is. Mm -hmm. um, and my question has to do with that. Mm -hmm. 
how do you make time and a process mm -hmm. for continuing to research and develop um, your dishes mm -hmm. and what you're trying to do with the restaurant while still running a restaurant and running and, and other restaurants? <laughs> and how do you make that? Well, right now I'm not running another restaurant, so I, I, I not quit. I'm still the, the creative director of Jose because, well, because Jose wants that and I respect that. But I, I give my day, all my days at Somni because Somni need that. How I find time and uh, make it, I don't have time. So now we are in the moment of after two years that we need to separate what is creativity and what is the restaurant. And this is my goal for the next step separated what is in a, besides to be running an operational restaurant, is what we're doing in Somni right now. We want to take it in a small kitchen. I don't know when or where or what, <laughs> but it's possible. But then we want to find a space that we can be created all day in a team, eight hours a day or 10 hours a day, or whatever is the time. And this is provided to the restaurant. Because right now we're living in the in the in the in the edges all day. You know, you create it and you're in the restaurant and you're in the middle. And you're the, they need your table. Now, chef, move here because I need the table for making that. So uh, always we are because it's so small. So we have a 15 people, well, 13 people, and a uh, thousand square feet. And half of the restaurant is a table and chairs to the guests. So we don't touch that side. So we're talking 500 square feet. So it's really really tiny. So and we learn that. No? We learn that if we want to grow and we because we are still believe that we are not that cre created, we can be more. We need to separate that area. You know, I think uh, uh, what is a restaurant operations need to be a restaurant operations and creativity, development, research, all these things. They need to be in another space. So now we are there, and we'll see what we happen. But this is the only way we can grow. You know? uh, it's important for us to have this space. Question. What are some of the challenges of using the handmade? Well, <laughs> because you're working with people, they are, they are terrorists sometimes. You know, they throw in everything, they broken everything, and this is one. This is people they don't care sometimes so much, you know, and uh, showing the culture to respect to that is complicated, you know. And we live in this life that anything is respectful. We want new thing, we throw it, we buy a new one, we buy a new one, we buy a new one, you know. And the money is not coming from everywhere, no. And uh, not only the money, you know, the time to arrival to there. You know, how many times I'm driving to see Dolphin to South LA, you find buy templates, you know, and you go there and you day off, uh, you go to Culver City and uh, pick it up another plates and everything like that. Or even sometimes I buy dishes with my money because that month is not working and I want to have it because it's important for us. And you have a workers they don't care. So for me, it's the important thing is that, you know, the, how the people respect more than how cost is. Because I think uh, cost is something uh, depends on, for you maybe $5 is expensive. For me, maybe 100 is not expensive. It all depends how do you use it. No? But it's important that the, the, the people, they need to respect more, not only the handmade, the everything. No? So I see many things. Uh, people, wow, they throw it, they throw it, they throw it. And if this is what I told you before, if, if you throw it this, when you cook it, you don't respect what you're doing, you know, and you, because you will do the same in the way to cook. Or when you close the, 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 the fridge, you hit the fridge, you know, bam, bang, that's a, doesn't matter, no, it's case only one, no, it's this, but this will be that, and it'll be that, and it'll be that, and it'll be that. And it's one, what's that, you prostitution, you, you, <laughs> you, you restaurant, you know, because in the end, they do whatever they want, and it's not the culture you want. You want a culture to respect the plate, the respect to the gas, respect to the materials, respect everything, because it's what you can grow and grow and grow and grow and grow and grow. Does it help that it's all visible? To the customers? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is help a lot. This help a lot. This, uh, we we have another guest another day and told it and have an open kitchen. Uh, it's great and that close. It's not just open kitchen because some open kitchens they're close but they are far or, or they have something they close. This is, you can see everything. They fell you tweezers and cling 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 cling. <laughs> and we uh, you know, and, and you know, the, you know, the first thing the cooks do is when they clink, clink, they look at me like, oh, chef, sorry. So, uh, because you need to be careful with that. And, but this make it another problem, too, you know? You need to have really organized, and you can have nothing to uh, al azar. No sé cómo dice al azar. 
to, I don't know what is our third one is. Any possibility happened, you know? So, so no, you need to have a control everything because it's something mistake it. They mistake everything. Uh, we control the timing. We have uh, two hours and 15 minutes. We know at 7.30, then the meat need to be there. The seven need to be there. Uh, seven need to be that dish. And uh, they need to sit at six, at 65. We need to set the cocktail. Well, we have a really control that because we have a small space. We have only two hours, 15 minutes. Um, and it's important. And I know the package give that, that thing, no? So any, you can, you can, we say all the time, it's like when you go to war with no guns and nothing. You are here and say, well, let's go. You know, if this is the same in the kitchen, in the restaurant, you go there with nothing. So I say, okay. And it's, it's, it's good because you created a good worker, you know? You created a people, they, you know, make it a good move, you know? Clean when they need to clean. You are not in the kitchen, so oh, now no, because I need to take this dish, I'll clean it later. No, you clean now and you go to another, and you do this and you do another. You have a plate city, you put it in the, uh, you please clean and you need to put it in the hot box, you put it now. Don't put it stuck here because you put it 15 and they can smash the, 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 the plates or they can fail and you $1,000, you know, and tomorrow, not only $1,000, tomorrow I don't have a plate because some plates, they need to make it or they need to come from whatever or anything like that. So it's important. I think it's the, one of the great things is open kitchen. And yeah, training, special training for hand washing. Well, yeah, we have a, so we don't clean nothing in the, in the dishwasher. Everything is hand, handmade clean. Okay. Uh, the wood is, uh, all the wood is polished two times a day. So at the night when they finish the service, we polish with a little bit the, the thera. I don't know what it's called, the, the product for the wood. Wax. Yeah, wax, something a little bit wax. And uh, in the morning, in the next day, at 5 a.m. when they come into the dishwasher, they, they polish again, so they have a really nice sparkling the wood. And the copper for the, 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 the pots, mm -hmm. we pass it. So we have a lot of work in, my, in, a, in a, clean, a clean job, you know. It's, it's, it's a lot. As I say, the restaurant is beautiful, and I'll say, oh, it's beautiful, and it's, but everything is just so work, you know. The wood, every, every sun, Saturday, I have uh, all my cooks there in the floor in the knees, cleaning the floor like that, polish. So, so people. <laughs> Delphine. So you're talking about the influence of materials and how it affects the experience and the taste of the food, also versus eating with your fingers, versus eating with utensils. Have you gone to the other side and experienced your restaurant as a guest? Yeah, obviously. It's, it's, it's not, I don't believe in any chef because they don't sit and eat his food or her food. No, but as, as like sitting down and, and the whole theater of Yeah, 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 no, when the, the, well now maybe, maybe because we have less people that work and need to be at the service all the time, and we don't have one seat available, <laughs> it's impossible, so and I, I can give for me, but every, maybe every two months, uh, when we open the first year, I eat every month. I sit and I eat and I see the experience. I take a notes and see what they do. And, what, and this is what I want to do in the future. But now I have option. I have 10 seats. And the seats, they are like, a, like a, uh, impossible to have a ticket. So, um, but yeah, I believe is you, can, you can have any thoughts, anything, whatever. You can even taste it parts. But if you don't, you don't taste the experience of the food at your restaurant, it's impossible to grow. Because every day you are changing, you know. For me, it's tomorrow I say no, you don't do that. Don't put that. No, do, let's do, always. I am, I am changing the small things. My cooks they hated that, but I always change things because what I like today, uh, tomorrow I think is not good or is less good, and I learn something and I make it that. I never. I always we say we never close the plate, you know. It never, it never is ending. It never is ending. It never is ending. Always is something you can achieve better and better and better. And, and one of the ways is sitting and tasting, you know, and, and experience. Oh, when we started, when you coming, we have a welcome area, and it was a really in the middle of the bazaar, and we sit you there, but after we take you to the room, now we have another welcome area, we sit with some snacks, we sit with some, with some uh, champagne, and no, 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 and we talk to you and sell you the wine after coming, you know? Before we make people come in at six, in the beginning, the first year, and now the people come in at 5.30. So we win 30 minutes. So people that come in, they can come in late because even we see the people inside to the room at six. But we have a 30 minutes that they are there. Okay, we can give more experience. You know? We can give people when they come. I think it's so important when they arrive to the restaurant, they, 
there's compression, you know, if, uh, there are traffic from LA, whatever you do, the kids, you put it there. You know. So it's so important. And this is we learn in what two years. And it's only we learn is if we see it, we are looking, we want to, you know, and we, we taste the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Last question. Uh, do you use music to affect the, the space and the experience in the space? Or? Yeah, um, so I have a three playlist, I make it. The music I like it, um, and I need a change because we have yeah two years and my co-star chef every day is the same music. But what's the three playlists? Was thinking about the food, no? The freeze music we have a, a, a dream tonight, so it's coming to the Somni dream Somni. So with the first song that the guests coming is a dream tonight, and uh, in the between that is really about experience, feelings, dream. So but but I need a change. Uh, but I, I, I play, I, I don't have time for music. So uh, my girlfriend knows I love music and I listen to music, but I don't have any time for making a playlist. And if, uh, I'm looking for some people that can help, but I lost, I think I see somebody making my, my list, or oh, whatever the rest of it, I will lose a little bit my feelings. But this, I think, is, uh, is an option. You know? I, I know I have a friend that they do, and they make it a beautiful thing. Now I still have three. My, I, the last uh, six months, we changed maybe 80% of the cooks, so for them it's new, that's fine. So, uh, <laughs> so for me, it's, uh, I mean, I like it, it's my music, so it's good. But I think it's important. I think everything you can make it, uh, I don't like, uh, I say repeating all the time about experience, you know? And I sometimes I think it's bullshit, no? But I think it's important too, you know, we in a balancing to that. No one ever thinks, oh, this is an experience, an experience, an experience, an experience. It's experience, but you have many things to put it that, no? And, uh, um, but if you control these details, music, uh, temperature, even if uh, aroma, no? I, I have a, a big dream to when I have a bigger restaurant than what I have now, uh, the entrance of the restaurant will be two doors, no? And I want to be surrendered, or, or, or what is called that another word, um, provoking or surrendered, no? So and you, can, you can choose what door you want to go, and you will have different experience, you know? So, I think that these things, they are really good in experience, but you need to be careful, you know, I guess. So when you go all the thinking and that and that, and after when the food, they come, they don't taste good, they are cold, the details, they are no, you no service the spoon, when the spoon, they need to be there. If you don't feel the water, when it's empty, the glass, doesn't matter if the doors, they, you can throw in perfume because it's the smell, whatever, that's, that's not important because these details, they give, is in a will, you know, it's all the things that's important. I think we're all ready to go there. Yeah. <laughs> but it's on the wait list. Okay. Thank you so, Thank you so much. So much. Thank you. Thank you.